All right, YouTube, welcome back to the Golden Gun channel. Uh, and today, we don't have gold, we've got silver. We always do a little bit of silver here and there, but mainly it's going to be gold. The next one will be gold. Uh, but today, for the silver bugs, we have silver. We have Aussie constitutional silver. Now, um, the constitutional silver uh, from Australia that I've shown you once before is this round 50 cent piece from 1966. I did show you guys a tube of 20. Uh, there's the young neck, uh, the long neck young, uh, young Lizzie on the back. Um, but, uh, but most of these were presents for the kids of my cousins. I gave one to fish as well. Um, so you've already seen that and there's a past video on that. Um, so you can check that out. Um, and I've also shown you, I don't have much constitutional silver. I've got this uh, quarter that, uh, that Fish sent me, which is fantastic. This is how I get my uh, American constitutional silver. You guys send it to me, uh, which is fantastic. Um, I love it. Um, it's a uh, Washington 64. Um, and I got from Silver Conundrum a fantastic gift. He sent me a uh, Barber Dime, um, which is uh, really generous and, and it's really cool to uh, have. Um, or, or quarter, sorry. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm building up my, uh, my quarters. But for today, we've got some more Aussie constitutional silver. Uh, we've got our own uh, constitutional silver here. Um, and it's the uh, ram head. Uh, as you can see right here, these are dirty, they're not clean, and that's the way uh, coin collectors like it, because you're not supposed to clean coins. These don't really have too much numismatic value. Most of them um, don't, you know, have pretty high mintages, 4 million, 7 million, 10 million. Um, I think there is one year with like 740,000 or something from memory, but I don't have that year anyway. Um, and uh, and that's the uh, the ram's head or merino head. There you go. Now it's uh, focusing. Um, and uh, it's interesting there to have a ram's head. There's there's a young Lizzie on the uh, on the uh, back. Now this uh, this uh, ram's head and it's a merino ram. Um, that's important to Australia. Uh, we say that we built um, Australia uh, on the back of the wool trade. We're, we're big with wool, not so much uh, for lamb for eating, although we've got quite a lot of that too. Um, but we've got some of the best wool in the world, New Zealand as well, and there's probably some other places. But this merino wool specifically, it's, uh, it's extra soft and really high quality wool. We still sell a lot of it, um, but it was a much bigger part of our economy uh, uh, back in the day, let's say. Um, so, uh, so they're proud of it. Um, and this was the equivalent of a 10 cent coin for a little while until, uh, it, uh, it stopped being produced. Um, although it's still counted as currency, not that you'll find one. Um, and in 1966, uh, we got this round 50 and that was the last constitutional silver that we got. Um, uh, but this, uh, was made from 1938 to 1963. Um, and it's a, it's a shilling. Um, which uh, you might uh, recognize that word shilling in currency from England. But yeah, we are uh, part of the monarchy uh, in England, so that's obviously why. And a shilling is equal to one twentieth of a pound, uh, just for some more facts. Um, this coin, it's, uh, it's sterling silver, so we're talking 92.5% silver. Um, and... Um, and uh, uh, that's up until 1946, okay? After that, uh, from 46 to 63, I guess, it was 50% silver. So if we take a look at these, I've got a little bit of a mix. So, uh, so let's take a look. 52, so we're talking 50% silver. Oh, this is the other constitutional silver I've got. It's a 10 cents that, that Millsack sent me. Uh, he sent me the 100th, uh, 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 100th of an ounce of gold uh, bar, uh, and he sent me this, uh, which is really, really cool. So I don't have a lot of constitutional silver, but let's take a look. So after 46 is 50%, so 50% silver, uh, what are we talking? Uh, 1954, 50%, um, 53, 50%, 46. So that should be 92 and a half, I believe. Uh, 52, 50%. 63, 50%, mainly 50%, 1946 again, good, because um, up until 1946 it was sterling, 58, I think I've got like three of them um, that are sterling, 52, uh, 56, uh, 56, 
Hmm. 61. 54, 1942, so that's definitely 92.5% sterling silver, and 61, that's right. So all of these, uh, we're talking 50%. How many of those did I pick up? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 of them are 50% and three of them are 92.5%. Now I picked these up for spot price um, a little while ago, probably a couple months ago, but I was away from YouTube for a couple months on a break, but I'm back now, as you guys know. Um, and yeah, obviously picking them up for spot is great uh, when you can find them. Um, it's more popular, these 92.5% sterling silvers than the 50%, um, but I got them all together for spot. I mean, there's not much there, obviously. Um, and they each weigh like 5.65 grams. I'm not going to work out the amount of silver for the 92.5% and 50% for you. You can do the math if you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. It's some more constitutional silver uh, that is available from Australia. Um, there were quite a few of these minted, uh, you know, all the way from, from 1938 to 1963. Um, that's the info you guys uh, need on it. Um, I hope you like this, uh, and we'll be back again soon. Uh, we'll bring you the gold next time as promised. Uh, thanks, YouTube. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, do that good stuff, um, and you'll see more. Thanks, guys. Bye.